you know, to everybody in the situation and made them like, made me see Storm different. And the one thing I told Storm was, you know, don't, I had a couple rules. Don't fuck you, don't fuck on your subscribers, you know? Don't fuck, don't fuck the clients. Don't, don't fuck, you know? Don't fuck the clients. Don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I'm just, it's all positive about Storm. It's nothing else. That's all. No, we, no, nothing, nothing negative about Storm. Okay, I promise you. Because Shaq's like, uh-uh. <laughs> this is about Storm. This is only about Storm. And, you know, basically just represent, the, just represent yourself. Right. In a way where it won't get you caught up in no, nothing where people can say, did something to them. Because, you know, women can be very vindictive. You know, so keep whatever, whatever, whoever you mess with, make sure they off the internet. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a public figure. Right. You got to think about that. People don't like being dissed publicly or, you know, rejected and stuff. You just never know how they'll react. And so, you know, I got a couple rules and people just played on the rules. And then, you know, I'm thinking like, what, you broke the rules? Like, and then, yeah. And, and then, of course, the other situation, I'm like, um, so you, you did this? You know, and I'm a woman, so I'm gonna connect with a woman, right? right. Anything they could, anything they could. And so like, but it was kind of like, you know, it was around the trial, and I didn't. I was like, why is everybody? I'm, I'm getting out of court. What the fuck going on on YouTube? You know, that's how I was. I was like, I, I can't control what's in the courtroom and what's on YouTube. Every time I keep the studios, it's losing their mind out here. And I'm like, what the hell going on? And I didn't know any of this, and so I just kind of came in, and I'm like. You sit, you sit the fuck down. You sit the fuck down. You get over here. This is what you ain't gonna do. Like I came out like mother. Yes. So gathering. Right. And then I was just like, all right, we gotta make a separation. Who's the problem? Who's the problem? So I went after the, the person that I thought was the problem, based on what I was told, uh, and that caused problems everywhere else. And so, yeah, like everything that Storm said, Storm was right. He was right. Right. He was pretty. He was pretty, and that's one thing I give Storm. Storm was always very protective of me as a man. You know what I'm saying? You know, people took shots at him and stuff. Even I took shots at him after because I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking this is what happened and why is it like this? You know, but in that situation, like oh. when I back on everything, you know, I had a lot going on, court and stuff. Yes. You know, <laughs> it's hard to process all these things, so you prioritize what's important: the business, family. You know, and to me, Storm wasn't business or he wasn't family. To me, I'm like, he's a content creator. He's doing great. He's going to be fine. Right. You know, that situation, he was right. He was right. I got to eat that L. He was right. I got to eat it. Okay. I mean, you know, we ain't going to get into it, but nah, I definitely, you know, <laughs> I yeah, feel like, fine. Oh, but it's all positive. I just wanted everybody to so, know uh, that, that part. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was thinking that it was one way and then once every all the dust settles you know, you live in your life. Yeah, yeah right. it, it really fucked up bro i was like damn like he was what i said get, baby give me 10 minutes with bondy 10 minutes please he get jealous <laughs> he is not jealous why'd you play it with him right <laughs> That boy yeah. on live because he want her to stop almost saying shit. That's what that is. Hello. I'm not saying that because I ain't been drinking. If I was drinking, oh, I'm oh. fucking. You, know, I'm like, you I'm on the I'm fucking probably internet probably every other in fucking morning. night, every other down. hour. I didn't say that. No, get that down. No, but this is only for Storm. So, like, I'm just saying, I gotta eat that L. He was right. Yeah, nah. Shout out to Storm. Storm been on his shit ever since the Diddy story broke. <laughs> like, yeah. that shit is hilarious. Uh -huh. Okay, the settling case is out this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what you drinking? Oh, it's a dirty martini. Lyric has started to make really dirty. good dirty martini. You gonna swell up from all that salt? Bitch, you don't let me swell up. <laughs> ankles gonna be thick. Ankles gonna be thick. My ankle's gonna be thick and shit. Not I'ma swell up. Who the fuck gives a fuck? Okay? Blondie don't give a nut amount swelling up right now. She like, bitch, I just want my drink. Shit, I listen, I'm from New 
one working out on this motherfucker, okay? I bring will swell the hell up. That's why you be like, Tasha, you big? They don't know when I have crab legs. Bitch, I mean. And I need I need women that done been through some things to connect with the winos that are women. 
you know, and men. So we have a we have a ma- big male fa- fan base and stuff like that. So you know, and it's just, you gotta have some depth to you. And Bondi has a lot of deafness that she offers the the winos from a totally different perspective. We were talking yesterday on the phone about you know your perspective with your dad and my perspective with my mom and how different our thought process is. And so my commentary will go this way and yours will go that way. Yeah. And then. I'm like, damn, you just taught me something. I didn't even realize why I was like this. You know what I'm saying? So, and your perspective and understanding why you feel the way you do. I respect it at the end of the day. Like, I don't have, I don't say I'm not one of the people. I don't always have to agree with shit, but I respect you. Yeah. And I respect you as an individual. Anybody that's not going to be punked, I, I respect. So, like, you know. Yeah. And, you know, I, I really want to put the South on the map. You from the South. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody else from the Midwest, from L.A., you know, proper talking people, New York, talking fast and shit. The South need their own voice, especially when it comes to women, and not in a housewife fashion. Right. You know, it, from the things that we've been through, the things that we experience. Right. you know what I'm saying, how it is to grow up in the South and everything like that, you know. And so I, that's what I, I want to do. That's why we love the wine. We love the hospitality love to have a good time you got that southern twang that new orleans twang i love it yes i'm like bondi is going to fucking shake don't play it and she's her own business yes yeah and i love that florida girl so you know i I think you know everybody their spot was never filled Ooh, child, no Okay. Yeah. So, like, y'all, y'all put some respect on body name. That's why y'all fuck with her head, okay? That's when she appeared on that screen, turning with that wine glass. I said, oh. yes! Okay. <laughs> Get into it, okay? How you doing? In case you want to know who the fuck I was, how you doing? Love that New Orleans accent. I was like, yeah! Okay. And my he didn't know, because he was like, who's I was like, just wait. She, you, she gonna be good. Just trust me. <laughs> treat her like you treat me. I'm out this bitch. So I got out. Like, I did a break. I lost my best friend. I needed a break. You know, it was a death in the family. It was hard. And I was crying on live and shit, you know. And, you know, you coming out to help me out. That was so big of you. But, like, when you opened up that show and I was on the plane, I said, yes, finally. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know. You know you're a one-man shopper. You finally got somebody to help you with your bags. I do. Yeah. I totally get it. <laughs> I'm glad I could be there for you. Thank God. Thank so, God. I appreciate all the, the, you know, the opportunity. And I can't wait for the show. You know what I'm saying? Do another live show. So, you know. Yeah. I, I, we working. We working. It's just It's been real busy. So don't yeah. be surprised we call you to kind of fill in for some of these interviews. Child, Cause it's busy. I would, I won't be surprised, and I'll be. Gotcha. <laughs> you want to really stay in New Orleans? Oh, no, no, listen! <laughs> I was, God damn it! Don't threaten me with a good time now, okay? <laughs> we can move. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we can relocate. Okay, like yeah, we can, we can move. All right, we'll see. Cause it's it's real busy, real busy. So, yeah. um, I, I, that's always a blessing. That's always a blessing because I just I just want us to work and make great content and stuff and entertain you know and you know, yeah so but um I just you know thank you so much for not um, participating in the mess that's going on I tell people it's hell over there so when you go over there you gotta be strategic when you go to hell with them because they they literally it's like you we go low but they go to hell they. they I ain't got energy for that. Like, I'm good. I'm going to stay here while I'm at. <laughs> Y'all stay I don't know. I said, listen, they did, somebody else went over there a couple weeks ago and thought they was going to, like, you know, one-up me. I said, all right, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> listen, cool they, they, they Instagram and was like, bitch, I'm out of here. I was like, <laughs> I said, let me tell you, the, 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 uh, uh, now, Sean David Way is not here. He does really great content. You know what I'm saying? But the rest of the motherfuckers, like, they will eat you alive. <laughs> I, I was the only one that survived that shit. Like, listen, they was trying to take me down for years. They, I was like, and they almost succeeded. Because you just get caught in it. It's like energy storm. 
Yes. You get caught in, you yes. gotta get away. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I gotta if, get away from it. If I know about anything, I know about chaotic energy and how to stay the fuck away from it, okay? <laughs> like, they, they got, oh, oh, what? They talk about me? Oh, all right, that's good. <laughs> do it because, like, it just, it gives me energy to make great content, you know what I'm saying? But I have to distract, I have to attach from it and say, okay, now it's not the time. But it does, that chaotic energy is what gives a great show. So when you're down, hell, like, just trust me, you have a good time. Yeah. Like, listen, I love her people out on live. It's one of my favorite things too. do. Listen, I just blocked somebody like 10 minutes ago and then came on live and cursed their ass out. They don't know I cursed them out, but I did. You know what I'm saying? I had to get that shit off my chest. That made great content. Y'all, look, people aggravate me. They think they did some shit. No, bitch, you just gave me another excuse to get on Instagram today. Thank exactly. you. Like, like I was telling, who was I telling yesterday? I was like, uh, I was talking to some of the Deja Vu uh, uh, cast members because, you know, the reunion dropped the bar and I hosted it. And they was just like, so what did you think? I said, really? I thought a lot of that shit was staged. But then when y'all got in the room and they had us in a dark room, right? Everything was black. Our chairs was white. It was like Armageddon in that room. I have never seen so many fights at one time arguing it lasted for like five hours nobody touched you, right? no oh nobody touched me my my security team was wrapped all over they didn't play that but they tried it was fun like watching them try to come at me and i would take the microphone and be like it's your mother you can't touch me okay i'm mother like you don't and you know it'd be white girls it's like the white girl y- y'all gotta watch y'all gotta watch the reunion deja vu season two the reunion now that's tv.com but it's out. I'll, I'll do an after show to it. But like, it's kind of like they didn't. I, I went down into the valley. I my mama them ain't never go down there. <laughs> down I'm the talking girls get naked. Wait a minute. <laughs> it was pimps, hoes, OnlyFans stars, like drug dealers. <laughs> God damn it, they was all. And I, this is places I've never been. Like I've never in my life been. No, and I'm. I'm like, what the fuck is y'all just it's beating each like, other? It's not like Jocelyn's cabaret yeah. reunion show. But worse, because it's real. Of course it is real. <laughs> real during the show, when I was actually watching the season, Deja Vu, season two on Now That's TV, they was fighting so much. One dude was like, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of fighting. He went and got a goddamn bottle opener and was ready to stab. He thought he was back in jail. He thought he was in the yard and jail. He said, I'm going to kill this nigga. Like, he was mad. Shameless plug. <laughs> okay. It was fun, though. I said, I see why criminals like to stay criminals, because it's fun. It's like a thrill. Oh. It is. See, no. I, I've had too much. <laughs> nah, I, like I, I didn't make three and shit. I had too much thrills in my head. It's way too much. I'm too, uh-uh. That's it, too much for me. It's kind of like my UFC and boxing is so popular. Yeah. No, I understand, but yeah, they, yeah. it's a fucking rush. Like I, I, when I got out of it, and we, my security team rushed me out of the building. When all the trans women just zoomed in over, they was like, "Okay, listen, we've been fighting these bitches for four hours. I'm sorry, these niggas for four hours, right?" And oh my god, we gotta go. I got one security guard. He won't even call me back. He got his hands so bad. I got, he won't answer the phone. He will. Oh, I didn't know that that was gonna go down over there. Cause I was like, yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm just hosting the reunion, but you know, just in case somebody wanna, you so know, you do it again. If they call again, you gonna do it again? Do it. It was so fun. You crazy? <laughs> she like, yeah. I was, it's like, <laughs>
you gotta you gotta work that in. <laughs> okay, <laughs> real glossy lips. Okay, and just be on the security shoulders holding his glass like this, right? You gotta do that shit. I'm like, that's how it was. My security ended. I had, I couldn't even finish hosting the show because they was tired. My security was tired. They was. Uh, Oh my god. I was, 
I heard it did sell out. I heard it did sell out. Okay. I moved here. Yeah. That shit was in place. That shit was artificial intelligence. It was in place. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to let you go, Bondi. I'm going to go ahead and I got to clean up this kitchen anyway, child. We got KFC, African food, all types of shit on the counter. <laughs> Good time.